our administration, it is important to be clear, is working to build a fair and a functional and a humane immigration system. We feel very strongly about that. And as you know, we inherited a tough situation. Um, in fact, right here in El Paso was the, 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 the launch of the child separation policy. You saw it as it rolled out on the ground in real time. Um, we have looked at a, a, a system where um, people have been housed in inhumane conditions over the last many years. Um, an asylum system that has been broken and that needs to be reconstructed. And um, in five months we've made progress but there's still much more work to be done. I approach our work with two principles. One, that most people do not want to leave home. They don't want to leave the place where they were raised, the language they know, the culture they know, the church where they go, their abuela. Most people don't want to leave home. And when they do, it is usually for one of two reasons. Uh, because they are fleeing some harm, or because to stay at home means that they cannot satisfy the basic needs of their family. I approach our work with that principle and another principle, which is, and it, I hope this does not sound trite or corny, that we have the capacity to give people hope and a belief that help is on the way. And so that, those principles are, are a large part of what is informing the work that we've been doing addressing the root causes.